Welcome back to Dirt Rally, where last time I got drunk and then I tried the World Rallycross add-on and didn't have much fun because I'm terrible at it. Um, currently we have a team rating of 14, 14 what I don't know, and 31,827 money credits, which do things. Um, we're going to take the good old Lancia out, this time around Monte Carlo. Um, got a lot of love for Monte Carlo. Uh, we've got a 93 to 7 asphalt ice split. That means something to somebody, um, but that isn't me. Let's dive in. Again, no shakedown, not messing with setup. God, I love the look of that car. And we're continuing to go slow to one day potentially Four, go fast. Four, three, two, nice clipboard, one, man. Go. 150. Right two into left two. So, what I should really be doing now is some testing right for uh, round five of the F1 co op. But then I realised I'm falling behind with my videos since um, you'll probably have noticed that I've got a new series right starting one, with uh, Joe and Grant on Grand Theft Auto Online. Left two, half and that's not really something that, you know you can left bang out in five minutes given you know, how just massive that game is. Keep left um, and so right. like, that highlight reel I made, just a sort of a teaser of what we're aiming for, um, that was sort of six minutes and it came out of about four hours worth of footage. So we were recording last night. Um, we've got a lot more to do I think before we start right putting episodes together but I will get them out this month I reckon. Um, but that does mean I've been neglecting Dirt Rally and RimWorld, so today, instead of testing to beat Simon, um, I'm Dirt Rallying, and I'm also RimWorlding, so that's what's happening. Um, the Bahrain episode is coming this weekend, I think. Um, it depends, I think, you know, Simon's obviously tied up with a lot of stuff at the moment. Um, I don't want to spoil it for you. Another good episode, I really hope you check it out. Um, it was actually, I would go so far as to say, my Into left five. best race ever, which that this isn't. Come on. Um, yeah, it, it was really, really good. I just sort of got into a groove with it, which I'm still not doing with this game. Um, and I, I think it's it's definitely worth checking out, if only because the, in, in this new engine, that track looks so good, especially you know night races. I think really show off what the engine's capable of, which you don't always see during the day. Uh, oh, I just cut despite being explicitly told not to. And right three long, don't cut over press. It's strange. It sort of feels, you know, the one thing that you, I've always picked up from my F1 games, which is the games I'm sadly most experienced at, which doesn't say a lot about my level of experience, um, is you don't accelerate during a corner, you sort of you know, build up speed and then you break entering the corner and you don't get back on the power until you're absolutely sure you don't need to get off the power again. Um, with this, it's kind of different because to some degree, being on the power pulls you, it pulls you round, um, it sort of aids your steering almost. And when you see me flying off into walls, I think it's because I'm a bit late getting back on the power. Like, you see that there? I, I hit the power and it sort of stopped me cascading backwards into the wall. Um, I hope I get out of this bad habit before I record F1 again. Um, but I'm still continuing to really enjoy this game. Um, I would still recommend it. I think. If you're not terrible like me, I think the fact it's now tied in with the official FIA World Rallycross Championship, um, I think that's a strong selling point. Um, if you've never watched Rallycross, I would really highly recommend it. I think it's a brilliant series and um, it's something actually you can get involved with as an amateur for very little outset really. It, it can be quite cheap. This is just going terribly. Um, I think I'm trying to be, be too fast. I need to slow down, right, six over focus crest. on getting round the corners rather than just barreling into Left them. Five long. But 
you know, if you've ever wanted and to get into right motorsport, I think it's, aside from the banger one. racing, I think rallycross at an amateur level is probably one of the most accessible forms of motorsport out there. And ice patches from here. Oh great, ice patches from here. Left probably five, good. This, this car's obviously front wheel drive, which um into right five. <laughs> Into left six. If we're honest, if you were to decide Into to build a right car, four, long, don't cut. and a car had never been built before, one, long, putting the power through the front wheels while they're responsible for steering is just Into right six, theoretically long, 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 a, a terrible idea compared with putting the power through the rear wheels. But I find to finish. front wheel drive cars much easier to drive than rear wheel, and I'm still dreading the 70s. Well, what we've done there is compact the front a little bit, so at least we won't have problems parking. And we've managed to hold on to third. Not by much, it's a very slim margin, not even a second. Um, but there's always satisfaction to be had in beating a Frenchman. Peter Sarlo languishing in fifth there, that's unlucky. We had a damaged air filter for some Finnish bloke. Exhaust blow. Yeah, I don't think we're going to close the gap to uh, L. Johnson, but, you know, I'm happy with that. If we can come out of this with a top three position, that would be supreme. That would be really, really good for us. But um, by the same measure, I'm still expecting us to probably fall back to fourth, maybe even fifth. I'm just, I'm just hoping Peter Sarlo has a bad day at the office. Anyway, thanks very much for joining me. I'm going to go do some RimWorld. I'll speak to you later.